So, good day ladies and gentlemen. So, we are now on the topic labor and overhead. So, on the previous topics, we discussed materials. Now, this is the time that we are going to discuss the costing of labor cost and at the same time, the overhead. Okay, so since we all know that the, the composition of your product cost is your raw materials plus your direct labor and your overhead. That is why we are now on the labor costs. Now, in labor costs, we have to take note of the following category, categories of labor. So, we have three. <clears throat> so, as what you can see, so the following groupings describe the different costs that are incurred on workers. First is the monetary benefits. So, what are those? These include the basic wages or the basic rate of pay. So, these also include your allowances overtime pay, bonuses, okay, holiday pay, government mandated benefits, example, SSS, GSIS, pag-ibig and feel here. And special incentives that are given by an organization or company to the respective employees. So, always remember that those are monetary benefits. Yan yung natatanggap natin <clears throat> currently. Okay? Yan. And uh, a company is also liable for you to remit, okay, or to have benefits, okay, for government mandated benefits. SSS, GSAS, pag-ibig and PhilHealth. So, hati dapat kayo niyan na employer, may shares employer, and you have a share also. So, dinididak yan portion of your salary and then iririmit yan ni employer to the different government agencies, Okay. So, another one is non-monetary benefits. So, this include hospital facilities, subsidized food, subsidized or free transport, recreational facilities that are being provided by an organization to their employees. So, hindi lang naman lahat monetary benefits, but also <clears throat> non-monetary benefits could also be given as a privilege to their employees. Pero, nagmamatter kasi yan sa... Sa, de, sa corporation or sa company na pina, pinasukan mo. Okay? So, minsan may wala to, pero there are also some of the companies na nagpo-provide ng mga non-monetary benefits. Okay? So, it matters uh, ng, uh, sa kada company. Okay? So, it uh, it's <clears throat> usually given if yung company is nagbibigay talaga ng mga beneficyo. <clears throat> Next is Deferred monetary benefits. So, these involve benefits which are not paid in a given month but in the future time. Okay, so examples of these benefits are include your pension and gratuity among others. Yung pension naman, yan yung makukuha mo at your retirement. <clears throat> Itong gratuity naman, this will be given to a certain employee, okay, um, um, certain employee, Upon your exit in a certain company, but the gratuity will be based on the range of your stay. Okay, so example, five years. Ayan. So it's a monetary uh, <clears throat> monetary consideration given to an employee. Okay, itong gratuity. Para bang pasasalamat ng company sa iyo because you provide services for a for particular range of period. <clears throat> okay, so let us now move on to the example. So, we have here an example. So, our task here is to <clears throat> identify if it is monetary, non-monetary, and deferred monetary benefits. Okay, so we have here if XYZ Corporation <clears throat> desires to determine the cost associated with the labor of their employees. So, we have here monthly salary, 26000 Employers monthly contribution to government. Yan yung SSS pag-ibig. So, 6.3. So, malalaman pa din natin dito na yung monthly salary are monetary benefits as well as your contribution to the government. Okay? <clears throat> Leave benefit per month. Ayan. This is a non-monetary benefit. Okay? Health care cost per head, 800 per month. This is also a non-monetary benefit. Monthly pension plan allocation. 2%, so pension, so it is deferred monetary benefit kasi it could be received at some future time. Then your working hours natin is 8 hours a day, 26 days in a month. So be careful, <clears throat> it's not always 8 hours per day. Sa mga problems lang naman ha, 
Okay, be careful of the hours and the days in a month. There are times na 30 days in a month. There are times na 26 days in a month. Depende. Okay, so you have to be careful kasi meron yung um, effect doon sa, sa computation natin. So after identifying the monetary, non-monetary, and the deferred monetary benefit, okay, the step number two is, is this. So nagawan ko na siya kanina. Okay, yung given, we have monetary benefit. Ito yung monthly salary, contributions to government. Yung non-monetary naman natin, leave benefit, healthcare cost per head in a month, total, deferred, and monthly pension. Baka nagtataka kayo, sa leave benefit, sir, sabi mo, uh, non-monetary siya. Pero bakit may cost allocation siya dyan? Okay, kasi gagamitin kasi natin to. Okay? Ayan, this is our privilege leave. Ayan. Pero, that is with pay. Okay? So, babayaran pa din tayo niyan. So, that is why um, i-co-consider natin siya sa computation. If ever, may mga, may mga convertible naman in cash. For example, yung sick leave mo, if hindi mo siya nagamit within the range, it will be convertible into cash. So, makukuha mo siya next year. Okay? So, ganun. Pero yung mga uh, leave benefits, vacation leave, kailangan mo talaga siyang i-consume. Kasi that is a non-monetary benefit. Okay? Kapag ginamit mo siya, hindi ka magiging absent niyan at hindi din mababawasan yung salary mo. It's because it's a benefit. A privilege for you. Okay? As an employee. And that is your right. Okay? So, ayan. Monthly salary is 26,000. Tingnan muna natin dito. Employer's contribution to the government is 6.3. So, medyo Nain natin ha. 6.3. Magkano kaya ang 6.3% okay? dito sa 26,000? So, gawa tayo ng formula by simply click, clicking here. 26,000 multiply by 6.3%. So, para malagay, malagay natin siya dito ng hindi naka-percent, we have to move decimal places okay, forward. Ayan, so, 0.0063. So, that's 1, 2, uh, uh, 0 0.063. Wait lang ha, nagkamali ako sa, ano, sa formula. <clears throat> okay, ayan. So, the monthly contribution to the government is 1,638. So, again, okay, ulitin natin. Equal sign, click 26,000, multiply, and then 6.3%. Okay, 0 0.063. Ayan. 1,638,000. So, ang total natin, pwede natin siyang i-auto sum dito. Ayan. So, total monetary benefit natin is 27,638. Okay, bold naman yan. Okay, or lagyan natin ng color to be identified. Ayan. So, dito naman tayo sa monetary benefit. Leave benefit is one day. Ayan. So, we have monthly salary here of 26,000, right? So, magkano kaya ang per day niya? So, ang kailangan natin gawin, ilan ba yung days in a month niya? So, here we have 26 days in a month. So, 26 divided by 26 days, okay, 26,000. So, that is equivalent to your leave benefit for one day. Okay, so, ayan, monthly salary pa din tayo. Or you could simply encode 26,000 on the formula. But here, i-click ko yung monthly salary divided by... 26 days. <clears throat> okay, so your leave benefit for one day is one worth 1,000. And we have healthcare cost per head. It's 800 per month. So our healthcare is 800. Okay, natin chan. So the total non-monetary benefit is 1,800. So lagyan na highlight, then bold, then again, the color to emphasize. And monthly pension, 
allocation is 2% of your monthly salary. So, magkano kaya yan? So, equal sign pa din. Okay, click 26, multiply by 0 0.02 or 2%, press enter. So, your monthly pension plan allocation per month is, okay, uh, kasi nag-iisa naman siya, right? Ayan. Lagay natin dito. 520. Okay. Bold and then, ayan. <clears throat> okay. So, ito total natin siya. Okay. Click lang natin yung mga total per benefit. Okay. Click plus this 1849 monetary plus 524 deferred benefits. So, our total uh, monthly cost equivalent is 29,958 pesos. Okay, so ito. Okay, natin ang color to emphasize. Now, our jo uh, job here is to get the percentage. So, to get the percentage here, we have to consider this as 100%. Okay, so ayan. So, kukunin natin yung percentage ng salary as to this one. Okay, ayan. 26 divided by 29. So, our monthly salary is 86.8%. Okay, we have to um, use the same formula. Here, 16 divided by 29. That's 5.5%. Okay. So, all in all, the... Total monetary benefit is 92.3%. Lagyan natin ng color. Ayan. Make it bold. To emphasize. Here naman, 1,000 divided by the total 29,000. So that's 3.3%. Same with here, healthcare cost divided by 29. Enter. So our total non-monetary benefit and uh, a percentage is 6%. Okay, natin na color to emphasize. And then, the last one is deferred monetary benefit divided by 29. So, that is 1.7%. So, therefore, okay, again, ang color to emphasize. Ayan, so there you have it. That is your 100%. And that's the percentage per benefit. So, monetary benefit has the higher percentage for the month. That's 92.3%. So, your non-monetary benefit is only 6% of the total monthly cost equivalent. And your deferred monetary benefit is 1.7. So, for you to put this uh, a border, just go up. And then find the borders and then click all borders. Okay. So after that, di pa tayo tapos, we have step 3. Okay. So we have to determine the percentage cost to relevant, relevant to the sales of total labor. Okay. Cost given that the employees in the company and revenue of the company is 25 or 1,000 monthly. And there are 25 employees. Okay. Ayan. So, here, the total employees is 25. So, the ilan kaya yung magiging to a cost natin in a month? So, di ba, ang total uh, cost per employee in a month is 29,000. Isang employee lang to ha. So, therefore, kung ito yung equivalent cost ng isang employee in a one-month period, ilan kaya yung applicable for 25 employees? Now, here. Ito yung kukunin natin, magkano ulit yung cost per employee in a month. So, here is 29,000. So, pwede na natin siyang i-link actually. Or pwede natin siyang i-encode. It's up to you. Okay? Equal sign. Also, sa ano ko, sa method ko, i-link ko siya. Okay? 29,958. Now, ilang 29,000 kaya ang i-kukunin natin? 
So, we have to multiply 29 by 25 para malaman natin kung ilan yung cost ng 25 employees. Kasi itong 29 na to, it's the cost of only one employees. Now, we have 25 employees. So, yung multiply lang natin siya, 29 times 25 employees. So, there you have it. The total cost per month na binabayaran ng company is 748,950 for only uh, salaries lang. Diba? Malaki-laki din yun. Ayan. So, here, ang kukunin naman natin is labor cost percentage to sale. Now, we have, ang uh, sale ng company is 1 million every month. Yan yung, uh, ano niya, sales. Now, kukunin natin, out from that sales, ilan ba yung applicable for labor? So, diba? Uh, let's just think of this. Ayan. Uh, Natatrabaho or nag, uh, nag uh, the business do their stocks to make profit. But we cannot um, avoid expenses, one of which is salary. Now, okay, so from that revenue, babayaran ni company yung salaries ng employees. Kaya titingnan natin dito kung sa 1 million, ilan ba yung percentage na makakover just only for direct labor. Ayan, so for that, okay, total labor cost per month divided by the total monthly revenue. Okay? So, asan ba yung total labor cost per month? Itong 748. It divide natin sa total monthly revenue which is the 1 million. Okay? Click enter. Okay, so parang nag ano siya, nag round off. So, punta tayo sa taas. Okay, reduce natin. Ayan, so it's 75% or pwede natin siyang e-percentage actually. Click, click percentage ulit ha. Okay. 748 divided by 1 million. So, 75%. Ayan. So, nakuha na natin yung labor percentage cost. Wait lang. Medyo may napindot ako. Okay. Ayan. Lagyan natin ng borders. Okay. Ayan. So, next is overhead. Punta tayo sa overhead. Now, we are done with the... The... Direct labor, punta naman tayo sa overhead. Now, ang magiging ano dito for overhead, ang magiging challenge natin is allocation of the amounts. Kasi marami kasi tayong overhead, right? So, ayan. Let's have this as an example. ABC Company has three production departments, A, B, C, and two service departments. D and E. So, the following figures are extracted from the records of the company. So, the cost of the item is, are the following. The rent and rates worth 10,000. Depreciation and machinery is worth 20,000. Electricity is worth 3,000. And administrative expenses is 20,000. Now, itong mga amount na to, i-allocate natin depende sa resources or depende sa department usage. So, we have two departments, A, B, and C, diba? production department, at saka meron tayong dalawang service department. When we say service department, they are not involved with the production kasi ang production, they are going to make the products and services. Pero itong service department, parang support lang sila ng tatlong departments na to. Okay? Ayan. That's service cost allocation actually. Okay. So, we here, we have the following resources. The floor space, okay, which is measured in square, uh, square meter. Department A has 1,5, B, 1,5, then C, 3, and so on and so forth. So, on total is 10,000 square meters. On direct wages in peso naman is for department A is 10,000, for B is 15, C is for 50, D, 20, and E is 5, total 100,000. Horsepower ng machines, okay, is 40, 30, 100, 20, 10. Total niya, 200. And the value of machines, 50,000 kA, 10,000 kB, 25, 12, 3, 
total of 100,000. Now, we have the cost item, rent and rates, depreciation, electricity and expenses. Ito yung kanina na nasa taas. Ayan. Ito yung ano natin, cost items. But ang resources niya is floor space. So, therefore, itong mga cost items na to, i-divide natin or i-allocate natin sa kada department using this one. Okay, the following resources. Now, to make it clear to you guys, let us, let us have an example. Okay, or ito na, uh, ayan, isasolve na natin siya. Okay. Ayan, medyo paliitin lang muna natin. Ayan, so here, uh, we will be solving first the rent and rates. Okay. And lapit natin ng konti. Okay. Yan. So, rent and rates, we have to use the floor space, okay, as our resources. So, tingnan nyo dito, rent and rates. The rent and rate is 10,000. Now, i-allocate natin siya sa kada department, okay, using the floor space. Kasi sabi dito, the resources used is floor space. Okay, so, Ang, ang next job natin is to, medyo paliitin lang natin yung columns. So, para paliitin yung columns, highlight pa din yung tat alima, then, then adjust. Okay, and everything will follow. Ayan. So, kunin natin yung percentage dito. Okay, paano ba makuha yung percentage? Uh, just add this 5. Ayan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's 10,000. Kukunin natin kung ilang percentage ba si 1,5 kay 10,000. Okay, that's the cost uh, percentage per department. Okay, 1,5 divided by 10. Zero siya, so para nag-round off siya. Okay, wait lang ha. Kaya natin percentage. Ayan. Lagyan natin ito ng percentage. Hindi lang dito. Okay. Ayan, next. 1, 5, divide 10. 15% pa din siya. 3,000 divide 10. Okay. 2,000 divided by 10. And 2,000 divided by 10. So, 20%. Now, i-allocate na natin yung 10,000 okay, for floor, uh, for rent and rates. Okay. So, 10,000 pesos. 10,000 na ba yan? Okay. Times 15%. Click mo lang to. Okay. 10,000 times 15%. Ayan, that's 1,500 pa din. So, nag-timing lang, na same lang din yung allocation niya sa amount, sa floor space niya. Okay? Ayan. 10,000 times 30%. That's 3,000 also. 10,000 times 20%. And equal sign, 10,000 times 20%. So, total natin to. Okay, pwede kayo mag-autosum ha ng ganitong ano. Uh, ayan, click autosum pa din. So, there you have it. Okay, yung allocation natin for rent and rates is this one. So, lagyan natin ng borders. Ayan. So, dito naman tayo sa depreciation ng machinery. So, if titingnan natin ulit, ang depreciation ng machinery is worth 20,000. So, i-divide natin to sa limang departments yung depreciation using anong base natin? The value of the machines. So, yung value ng machines is ito. Nalagay ko na dito. Okay. Ayan. So, ang total nito is Okay, lagi. Auto sum muna natin. That's 100,000. 
ang need natin is kukunin na naman natin yung percentage niya. So, 50 divided by the total value of machines is 100,000. So, again, kapag ganito, click lang the percentage here na nasa taas. Ayan, that's 50%. Okay, 10 divided by 100. Okay, 25 divided by 100. 12 divided by 100. 1,000 divided by 100. So, 3%. Ayan, so the allocation is 20,000, right? Ayan, 20,000. Hindi ito, ha? Yan yung base natin para makuha yung percentage. Again, ito yung i-allocate natin. Nagkataon lang dito sa rent and rates na yung floor space is equivalent also to the rent and rates amount. Okay? So, ang i-allocate natin dito is yung 20,000 ito. Ayan. So, to continue. Okay. 50,000. Um, no, no, no. 20,000 ulit, 20,000, 20,000 times 50%, enter, 20,000 times 10%, 20,000 times 25%, 20,000 times 12%, 20,000 times 3%. Okay, so again, 20,000 i-allocate natin, auto-sum natin, itama. Okay, parang meron tayong mali dito. Kasi 19,460. Baka nag... Okay. 50. Ayan. 20,000. Ulitin natin. Times 3%. Ayun, 600. Medyo nagkamali lang tayo dito ng formula. Okay, so 20,000. Ayan, if ever hindi mag-total, balikan nyo yung ano natin, yung mga formula. Baka nagkamali tayo mag-encode. Okay? Ayan. So, the 20,000 na nandito sa data natin is allocated like this. Okay? So, ayan. Lagyan natin ng border. Next na naman tayo. So, electricity. Tingnan natin kung magkano ba ang electricity. Electricity is just 3,000. So, i-allocate natin siya per department using what? Horsepower of machines. So, andito na yung horsepower of machines. Uh, parang nagkamali akong lagay. The value of the equipment. Horsepower ng machines ng department is 40. While department P is 30, 100 for C, 20 for D, 10 for E. So, a total of, auto sum natin, 200. Okay, kunin pa din natin yung percentage niya, 40 divided by the total horsepower. So, that's, okay, again, nakalimutan natin maglagay ng percentage. Okay, nababas na. 30 divided by 200. 100 divided by 200. Divided by 200. And last, 10 divided by 200. Enter. Now, ilan nga yung electricity? 3,000. So, i-allocate na natin yung 3,000. 3,000 times yung percentage na nakuha natin kanina. So, 600 lang kay A. 3,000 times 15%. 3,000 times 50%. Dito, 3,000 times 10%. And last, 3,000 times 5%. Okay? So, ito yung components niya. Total natin, 
3,000. Okay, exacto. So, tama yung computation natin. Okay, lagyan natin ng borders. Okay, medyo mahaba haba lang siya, pero yung process niya is same lang naman. So, we are now on the last solving, which is the management expenses. So, magkano expenses? 20,000. I-divide natin siya on the following department using direct wages. Here, ito na yung mga direct wages niya. Dito ko kinuha yung data. Ayan. Kukunin natin ulit yung percentage niya. The percentage here. Uh, wag muna. Total muna natin to. Total, auto sum, 100, 10, 15, 50, 20. Okay, 100 din siya. Ayan. Okay. M divided by 100. Okay, again, mag-percentage tayo. Okay, ayan, lumabas na. 15 divided by 100. 50 divided by 100. 20 divided by 100. 5,000 divided by 100. That's 5%. Now, magkano ulit yung expenses natin? 20,000. So, sa 20,000 niya, allocate na natin on those percentage. 20,000 times 10%. Okay. 2,000. 20,000 times 15%. That's 3,000. Okay. 20,000 times 50. Next. 20,000 times 20% and last 20,000 times 5% okay add natin lahat dapat 20,000 yes so tama yung computation natin kasi na total sa 20,000 and border ayun so kompleto na yung data natin na allocate na natin tong mga amounts na to using this data and may guide tayo kung saan yung resources natin as basis for our allocation. So, medyo mahaba lang pero hindi naman siya uh, mahirap. Okay? I-allocate. Since we are just getting the percentage and then allocating those percentage to the amount of cost per department. So, there you have it the labor and overhead lecture. Okay, so I hope you learned more and see you next video.